Good morning from the Cabana Bay Resort. You can see Volcano Bay in the background. We are heading down for a day at the bay. <laughs> the weather is supposed to get gross around two o'clock today. The park opens at 10, but because we're resort guests, we get in at 9.30. So we have to get everything we can done in about four and a half hours or so. But it is nice that once it starts raining, we can just run back to our room, which is right next to Volcano Bay. I can't film on any of the slides, but I can film in the Lazy River and the Wave Pool. So I might show you guys some of that, and I'd like to show you some of walking around, especially since I've never been here. Just kind of go and experience it with you guys. So let's head downstairs. It's about 9.30, and we'll head into the park. Here's our door from Bayside Tower. So if you turn left, you start heading this way, and you'll see a sign that says Volcano Bay Guest Entrance, room key required. So you'll head over that way, and we will get the hotel access to Volcano Bay. So if you keep walking this way, there's the black fence, and you'll go in over there. <laughs> all right, we pulled up to Volcano Bay. So I gotta get out all of our park tickets and hotel tickets, and we're good to go in. We have on our Tapu Tapus. So if you don't know, you go up to the rides, scan it kind of like you would a Magic Band at Disneyland, and they will put you in a virtual queue for some of the rides. It is noon and we've pretty much gone every ride that we wanted to go on. That early access let us obviously get in early, but we were able to ride two slides, put everything in a locker that we needed to, and just get a jump start on the day. So that was really nice. So it's at noon, I think we're gonna grab a little bit of lunch and then we're gonna go in the Lazy River again. It's not a Lazy River though, it's one of the fast rivers. So let's go see what we should eat. Throughout the park, they do have water spraying on the pavement to help keep it cool. So a lot of people aren't wearing their shoes, but it's not too crazy because the water's helping cool down any of the pavement. We ordered some loaded nachos carne asada steak tacos and a water and it did come out to $32. Ben just made a comment about his taco that it's not very loaded. It's kind of like, oh yeah, there's the last bite of his taco. Just not very loaded, not a lot of meat in there. The nachos are pretty much okay. I do wish they had like, you know, some diced chicken or something instead of chili, but well, that's fine. So we are chilling at a bar over here and Ben ordered a drink. She did give it to us in a souvenir glass. We didn't necessarily order it, but that's okay because we were kind of wanting one anyway. So really she just made the decision for us. But she did say that when you either take a picture of your seat, have your receipt with you or Only bring in your glass, then you get discounted drinks when you come to refill. And so I think it's $2 off when you come to get a refill. So. That's not too bad if you're planning on drinking a good bit. Ben just told me it wasn't an option to put it in a souvenir cup, that all of these are served in a souvenir cup. So unless you get one of the frozen margaritas, pina coladas, strawberry and something else, then you will get the souvenir glass with it. So it came out to $19, which honestly is not bad for the drink itself and how much liquor she put in, and then the souvenir cup. So like that cup could be $20 alone. I think that's a steal. Here is one of the entrances to Tiawa. It is a fearless river and it's kind of like a fast river ride. So everyone, regardless of age, size, has to wear a life vest. And then you take the river and there's rapids, there's waves, it's, it fluctuates between four feet, five feet. So it's pretty enjoyable. We spent four or five laps in there and we're gonna go back in a minute here. Here is the entrance for Rocky and Tonga. These are tube slides with two people. So we went on both of them and they were both so fun. So as I said earlier, you pick up a Tapu Tapu when you walk into the park. And then these are the little kiosks that you look at. So if you want to come back and ride them again, if it didn't say ride now, it'll say 10 minute wait, 30 minute wait. You scan your Tapu Tapu and then it'll go off when it's time to come and ride the ride. Here's the Fearless River. 
So you can see some of those waves in the distance there and then everyone wearing their life vests. Here is the more calm Lazy River where you do have to have an inner tube, but it's a lot more relaxed than the Fearless River. Crossing the bridge by the Lazy River, you can see that there's a Tapu Tapu touch point. So it just blinked green. Let me go ahead and scan it. And you'll see that it activates the fountain. So there's a couple of those on the bridges around the Lazy River, some where you can shoot water at people. This one's the fountain. You guys are going back in the locker. We'll see you in a little bit. We are back home after a wonderful and blessed vacation to Florida. We absolutely loved Volcano Bay. We didn't really... We did know what we were in for. We watched a lot of YouTubers' videos and things, so we knew some of the basics, but being there in person was so different, and it was just so much fun and so amazing. I It was just so much fun. <laughs> the price was $80 a person, which is not bad at all. I was kind of comparing it to our local water park in my head, and it was about the same price for Volcano Bay as it was our local water park, but it's a way better park. The Tapu Tapu system was, I would say life-changing, but I guess we didn't use it. <laughs> ben and I got into the park early with early access because we were staying at, Vol uh, sorry, Cabana Bay, the resort right next door to Volcano Bay. So we got in at 9.30 versus 10 o'clock when the park opens to everyone else. We knocked out three of the raft slides within, within the 30 minutes. And then we went on Krakatau, which is the big water coaster that usually has a wait of like 90 minutes plus, but we walked right on. Not real. We had a ride now. So we walked on and hid the ride now. Watching other people use the Tapu Tapu, it just, it makes life so easy. We did use it to pay for our drinks and then our food that we got because I had my card saved to my Universal account. So you just use your Tapu Tapu to pay so you don't have to carry your wallet around or your phone or anything like that. The food was pretty good. I would say we got probably the lower tier food that you'd be able to get at the park. We were waiting in line for burgers, but the line was so long that we stepped out and walked over to get tacos and nachos, basically on the other side of the park, but we had talked about them prior, earlier in the day. So we walked over there and they were pretty good, but expensive. <laughs> so a water loaded nachos, and two carnita tacos came out to $32. So for theme park food, I guess it's kind of on par, but on the expensive side compared to other items that we had purchased throughout that trip. If you have the means to stay on property, this does work for any of the Universal Studios resorts. I would highly recommend it if you're going to spend a day at Volcano Bay to get that early access because it really was day changing for us. So we knocked out those four slides before 1015. And then we went on a couple other ones after that that were still a ride now as people were flowing into the park and putting things in lockers and getting their bearings for the day. We knocked pretty much every slide out that we wanted to do. And then we spent the rest of the day in the Fearless River. So if you have the means to do that, I would definitely recommend staying at one of those universal resorts, even if it's just for that perk. The park is open for a pretty short amount of time. It's 10 to 5. That's because you need the sunlight and the heat, and then they have to close it before sunlight goes away. So 10 to 5, we did everything between our 9.30. I think we left at about 3 o'clock. We wanted to stay longer, but we were tired. We needed water. So we just went back to the hotel and relaxed. But you could stay in the park that whole time for sure. There is plenty to do. If you have young children, there's a couple different children's splash pads that you can go to in the park. I think there's two, if not just one, Runamucka Reef, such a cute name. <laughs> so there's splash pads for kids. There's rides for people of all ages and sizes and 
comfortability. I'm not one for body slides, so Ben went on a couple of those, but I did not. But I did all the raft rides, um, the Lazy River, those I was okay with. <laughs> I did say we were going to use our GoPro a couple of times, and we ended up not taking it. We were just having so much fun, and I didn't really want to ruin the moment with having to film, especially because it was our first time there. But we are planning on going back, so we will go back and make a more in-depth video of the park itself. We'll walk around, give you more of a tour. We'll take our GoPro on the Fearless River, the Lazy River, and the Wave Pool, because those are the things that you can't take them on. You can't take it on slides, unfortunately. But we will take you guys with us for just more of a more of a real experience of Volcano Bay. If anyone has any questions, please leave those down below in the comment. Or if you have any recommendations for me or any tips for the next time I go, please let me know. I love to learn and figure out how to do trips better and easier and cheaper and all the good things. <laughs> Thank you all for experiencing this brand new water park with me. I hope you'll stick around and experience more.